That uh, ball is teed awfully low for yeah, a driver. Yeah, I'm, I'm a low, a low baller. Um, I get, I get that. I guess a lot of people ask me. A lot of amateurs ask me that on Wednesday in pro ams. Sergio's the same. Yeah, Sergio's the same. Um, I used to be a very, I used to probably have a more descending blow on my drivers and get a lot more spin, and and that's not good. There's an optimal rate. We now know what we want to get our spin rate at, and mine's pretty good. I've got a driver, this Bridgestone driver, that basically. Uh, gives me all the launch I need at that height. I think the theory is, and I noticed it here more than ever, ever that a lot of the tees now are getting longer, and I don't know why. Because the tee height has very little to do with how far you're going to hit it. The technique has everything to do with it, you know. So, now for me, there's the, that you can see right there, or we'll face the camera, that's basically above the middle. So when I get that off the ground, maybe a centimetre, that's all I need. Right where you want it. In the mayor's office, as Finchie would say. A little bit of a draw office. stance. Uh, that was pretty much, that, that was the best shot I could have hit um, for this hole, the little draw down there. The, ideally, yeah, you want to shape the ball a little bit. You want to shape it with the hole, if that, hole, if that shape lets you carry something or work with the turf. When we the routine. Um, basically, once I pegged it up, um, I've maybe selected a side of the tee I want to use. Pretty much next thing is picking the shot, the shape of the shot I want to you know, look at. Obviously, let's just say it's a fape. I'll be looking at just putting that thought in my mind. And then when I go back behind the ball, I'll be doing my little keys to, to think about what I'm maybe working on in my swing. Not super technical, but just little triggers. And then having a practice swing that replicate that fade. So I'm trying to keep that real plant that fresh in my mind. And basically, once I've done that, I'm just up there solidifying the movement of the ball, visualising it moving in the air, and then obviously get in and execute. Oh, that was the swing of the day, that one. That's a, that's a peach. Well, the things I'm trying to obviously do, the, the, the things that are going to create power and accuracy, right? Basically, for me, I want to create good, good posture. I want to feel like I'm nice and upright. Obviously, want alignment wants to be good and matching. In my takeaway right now, I'm trying to get the club not set there, but sort of basically just a little bit earlier in the, in the hinging of the wrist. I want it back on plane, the plane I'm going to create. Then basically I'm turning into my right side here, storing some power there. That's where I am. That's where I like to be. When I'm at the top, I'm going to make a nice transition. I'm going to put that club back into the position, and I'm going to get to about here. That'll be sort of the freeze frame of where I want to be. What I do have trouble with is when I get a little in here, the club drops back here, leaves me that way. So back in this good position here. Then it's no matter what's happening under what pressure or whatever, the $2 bet or a tournament, you basically from here, there's nothing you do except release it. There you are at impact, nice and balanced, rotating through. And, and, and if your swing's really good, you'll have a good balance through and uh, follow through and balance. So that's really my swing all over in, I guess, about a second.